So I, I had to shoot a quick video here. I want to show you something. See, I got all my all my furniture moved out of the way. I just had the carpets cleaned. I've got I've got my books in the in the bathroom in my office over here. You can see everything's gone. You know, the carpets are nicely cleaned. Everything's great, but uh, that's not why I want to talk to you about. Is is the carpets being cleaned? It was the conversation I had with the carpet cleaning guy. Uh, it like literally my mind kind of went boom. I couldn't believe it. He knew that I used to have my own accounting practice. And so he started talking to me about taxes and he goes, oh, so, you know, oh yeah, I get my taxes done by so-and-so. And he does my corporate tax return for $150. And I almost fell over. I'm like, how in the world can you do a tax return for $150? This is insane. And he goes, oh no, but the guy's he's got a brilliant, brilliant business model because he gets so many clients. He gets so many clients. He's, he's got so much business. And so I sat there and I thought about it for a second and I looked at him and I went, so I said, so how about, why don't you reduce what you're charging me for instead of charging me $230? I mean, think about that. He, he cleaned three carpets in a small house for 230 bucks and his accountant's doing his corporate tax return for 150. But I said to him, why don't you, why don't you drop your price from 230 and just charge me 50 and be able to do a lot more people's uh, carpets? And he just looked at me and he went, uh, and I went, yeah. So how many tax returns do you think your accountant has to go through to actually make a living? And he looks at me again, he goes, uh, and besides the fact that clearly if someone's charging 150 bucks for a, a corporate tax return, there's no way they're doing it well. There's this just impossible, right? But how many tax returns does this guy have to actually do to make a living? And he goes, oh, and I go, yeah, he's got a pretty stupid business model, doesn't he? He goes, oh, yeah, you're right. And I said, well, there you go. Think about it. And, and so this kind of brings me down to a point. So many accountants that I talk to don't think about their model. When they go to charge something per client, I said, well, then model it out and tell me how many clients you have to get to make the living that you want to make. Um, I've got a video that I did recently, or it's actually a few months ago now. It's about, uh, you know, five ways to 600K. And basically, it's the same thing. If you took 150, you have to do 4,000 tax returns to get to 600K. It just becomes a bit mind boggling. So the only thing I can think of to be able to do that many is you have to increase your efficiencies. But as you can see in the market, as you increase your efficiencies, it puts downward pressure on price. And so clearly, this guy can do he must be doing a ton of personal or a ton of corporate tax returns at 150 bucks a pop to be able to make any money. So as again, when I'm working with my other accounting firm clients, it's like, you know, stop focusing on efficiencies because you're just going to cannibalize your prices. You're going to have to keep chasing and make more, do more tax returns for a lower, lower price. And we see it happening all over in the entire industry that this is happening. We're getting downward pressure on prices because everybody's focusing on the latest and greatest uh, efficiency model and it's it's going to cannibalize the 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 market so you need to be focusing on effectiveness effectiveness and giving your clients what they really want not you know a ta corporate tax return for 150 bucks what what is that you know like i mean this i got my carpets cleaned for 230 and he's doing a corporate and and his his accountants doing a tax return for 150 bucks anyways i still can't get in here because my carpets are still wet so hopefully by the time my wife and daughter get back from their um, from my daughter's little Halloween party with their friends, they'll be uh, they'll be dry. Then I'll be able to put everything back. But anyways, so there you go. When you're when you're when you're charging your clients, just to to finish off, when you're charging your clients, model it out and say, if I charge this client this much, how many of these clients am I going to need to make the living that I want in my accounting practice? So anyways. I'm Eric Solbach, and wherever you're watching this, please scroll down, leave me a comment, and stay tuned for more success tips to come.